thing is, and I've learned from other people, and I learned from my mistakes and everything. It, people have a lot of good ideas, but they don't follow them up. And I think it's just time for all of us, not just me, people in the youth who have dreams and aspirations to to try to do it, because it's not hard. It's not hard to patent things, it's not hard to. When you have the internet, you can Google any fucking thing. I mean, you can just really find out what you need to know and do the proper research on your own, and so that's what I did. I'm like, you know, a research junkie. With Dev Jam, I had already been in their building, I felt a sense of them wanting to um, correct some of the things that they did in the past, and some of these means as far as me being in the building with Player Circle, and a lot of things going, you know, going over people's head or people not paying attention. When I came up in this, um, when I started doing the bidding war with all these labels, it was some labels that wanted to buy my website, it was some that wanted to participate, it was some that wanted merch, so it, it had to do with more than just money and things like that, it trickled down in different avenues that I participate in. I sell merch well, I sell fucking cups online, you know what I mean, I sell Flexphone, flexphone.com, plug, I do all of that. You know, it's about getting with, with a machine, like I said, who um, could do a lot of things that I can do, but they can do it quicker. We in a microwavable society where things have to be quick. You know, no one wants to wait for dinner all day anymore. Motherfuckers want that shit now. And so when you get with a machine, you can offer that or you can blame the machine, but they just have more resources. And I still haven't really applied pressure using them like a normal person would because I'm so self-contained. I've always been a solo artist. Me and Dollar both were solo artists who came together to do the Player Circle Project. So we both had different identities, different ideas. Like I um, you know, explained in a lot of my interviews, I own my own studio, so just the rate of me recording just became uh, a sense of just having to figure out different avenues on putting it out. So whether it was, it was Player Circle or Duffel Bag Boys or just 2 Chains, I started putting out music and I, I guess the 2 Chain thing just started, you know, catching waves, just started creating legs and a mind of his own. And so Technique, which was a DJ at the time, him and Charlie came to my studio while I was working heard the mixtape that I was about to put out, Travel Valley 2, it was hosted by Bigger Rankin. They was like, man, I want it without drops. And they was like, this shit is dope, you know? And so they was like, I want to be your manager. And I just remember coming out the back laughing like, hey, pff, guess what they just said? You know, they think they can manage me because I just know that the type of person I am, you have like, I do a lot of stuff on my own. I'm self-contained. I have a lot of trust issues, but at the same time, it was getting overwhelming for me to do songs and also email them to, you know, DJs and just, it just was putting me in the cross, you know what I mean? And so when they came to me, um, basically we just came up with a verbal agreement on, you don't have to talk too much, just show me action speak louder than words. And then, you know, when the action started popping up, you know, that was, you know, 200 shows ago. The thing behind me and Wayne was that he always believed in me as a musician, as well as being a, a cool dude. And everybody thought he was the, illest nigga in the world. So that's where my confidence kind of started just deriving from. It's like, everybody fucks with you and you fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? And so that's that's where our relationship came in. He used to say encouraging things on basically that I'm sure another rapper, if they didn't get that, they probably would have just started figuring something else out. You know what I mean? And so me even being around them, seeing what they have, seeing the things that you can get from putting words together, it kind of kept me inspired.